Hello, welcome to Body Evolution. Uh, today's workout is called Magic School Bus. Another fan favorite for kids' books. This one is going to be rowing and biking. We're going to do AMRAPs. So this is a descending AMRAP of time where we'll do each, each movement for three minutes, then two, move, ten, then two minutes, then one minute. Um, the score is going to be calories of vote. So you'll have six scores to put in um, and total it up. And then you can put it in the notes, but I'm just gonna have one for calories. The first one is gonna be a three minute AMRAP of rowing. You'll rest one minute before hopping on the bike for three minutes, and then you'll rest two minutes. The two minute rest happens after the bike because we're dropping for the time. So we're giving you a little bit more rest. We're giving you a shorter rest between movements. Um, so that's, that's the easy way to tell where you are in, in the workout. If you rested for two minutes, you're gonna drop it by a minute. So after the two minute rest, we do a two minute AMRAP of row, rest for a minute, two minute AMRAP of bike, rest for two minutes. Then you'll do one minute AMRAP of row, rest for one minute, and then one minute AMRAP of bike, rest, and you're done. Uh, the, obviously the idea is that you speed up, that you accumulate, um, you obviously accumulate more calories in three minutes, but the pacing should speed up. So I, on my three minutes of rowing, like that, or three, actually three minutes of biking is probably a better example. Three minutes of biking, that's a long time to be on an assault bike. Everybody's gonna hate this, and I'm, I'm gonna love that. Um, <clears throat> but you can't sprint on the three minutes of bike, because it's not enough rest to sprint on any of these movements. So you gotta find a good pace. Again, this is a chance for you to learn your pacing on the row and the bike. Like, if I'm doing a longer workout, this is my pace for that, for that time frame. Uh, hopefully you'll also learn how much how many calories you can knock out in a certain amount of time. So in a wad where I say, hey, we're doing a 30 calorie bike, maybe you know from this workout how long that'll take you and also what pace. Uh, so take good notes in this workout um, and the majority of the time will be spent doing the workout obviously because of all the rest and time. But beforehand, we're gonna go over the row and the bike. We're gonna talk about how to sit on the bike and how to sit forward on the bike. I've been noticing a lot lately is that people are um, sitting way too far back on the bike, kind of like a Sunday stroll bike. You gotta think more like cyclists and get your hips forward of the seat, okay? Uh, if you're at home, this is a really tough one for you to scale because you're gonna have to choose two cardio movements that you can do, um, and you have to do it for three minutes, two minutes, and one minute. It's figuring it out, um, the movements is one thing, but the time and all that stuff is easy. You'll just have to probably have to, if you don't have a machine, you're gonna have to do it for distance, do it for meters, um, meaning I could just do running and do it for meters, uh, but then other than that, I don't know what you would do. So this one's a tough one to do at home if you don't have a machine. You could just do it for time uh, for running. If you wanna do three minutes, two minutes, and one minute, just go for distance. The accessory, we're doing a sandbag carry for 200 feet. This is adding on to the hollow that we did the day before. Again, sandbag carry should be this. I'm squeezing my butt, rolling my shoulders forward, and just walking. The sandbag, I, I, as I'm demonstrating, is down here. It's like I have a pregnant belly. It's not gonna be up here. You're not supposed to shrug while carrying a sandbag because you don't want your form to change from the 100 pound to the 300 pound sandbag. Uh, yoke, hold. We're gonna just get the yoke on, the, on our shoulders. Elbows should be pointed down. Hands are on the, on the uh, crossbar. And then we're again here. Same position as the sandbag, really. You should feel the core. You're standing there in a squat stance. Don't get too narrow. And then finally, what's the last one? Sorry, guys, I can't read my own writing. Uh, step ups. It's 10 each side, step up. Still working on the butt. All right. Thanks, guys. Hope to see you for Magic School Bus.